Hey, Noel here. Today I would like to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind recently. Is it fair for artists to refund buyers? Well, let me explain. The reason why I brought up this topic is because a lot of artists, including myself, would like to be able to earn money from what we do. Is that to say that that's a bad thing? No, not really. If you are an artist and you want to make a source of income with the art, then that's not a bad thing. You should be able to do what you want to do, regardless of my opinion and other people's opinion. That should be your choice, especially on what you need to do. Just saying. Now, let's get back on track. I went into a private Facebook group for artists and asked, should artists offer a refund? After asking myself this question, of course. And before I go any further, I just want to say this. There were some great answers, but they differed. Basically, they were subjective. Now, just a quick disclaimer. If you're looking for a direct or definitive answer, you will not find it here, unfortunately. There are a lot of different answers to this question. I have asked several people, and they all had their own opinions. I made a timeline for those who don't have a long attention span, no offense meant. <laughs> so yeah. Furthermore, what works for you may not work for others and vice versa. These are answers that a group of people, including my own, have gave to a question that I asked too. Now of course, like I said before, the answers might not always be my answer, but you'll see further along in this video. Anyways, let's get started. Now, of course, there are a lot of people who said yes, no, or depends. I just want to cover the section on the reasons why you should give your client a refund first. So, point one, failure to deliver or comply. Now, on the point where you're an artist, it is your responsibility to deliver on that commission on which you were given by your client, especially when you both agreed upon it. A lot of people have said yes at this point and have made very good points about this topic on why a refund is necessary for this situation. When you fail to deliver your commissions on time, I do believe that the client has the right to request for a refund or if the work is damaged on the artist's end. In short, if it's your fault, you pay the price. I agree a lot on this topic. If the artist isn't able to do their part in the commission, the client should do a refund, especially if they're not able to finish the work. However, I do believe the client should play their part in the communication as well. It is very crucial to understand the objective the artist has to do. Your client must be aware of the work you produce, especially from your portfolio. Now, if you're an artist and you don't have a portfolio, then make one. And I don't want to hear the excuse of, am I good at my art or whatever? Well, if you're not good at your art and you're not going to make a portfolio, then how is the client going to know what you make and what is the best work? Ah, 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 so exactly. So another point that a lot of artists have made is if it can be resold. I wouldn't really recommend it too much as that's a bargain that you'll have to make for yourself. If they're copies, then sure. You mustn't suffer your value just to appease a client that made higher expectations than the service you can provide as it can cause problems, sometimes irreversible. If you feel like you did not like the work because of your personal preference, you have every right to think that way as it is their choice and you can just tell your client that, hey, I'm just going to give you a refund because I don't like the work that I produce, as an example. Now, of course, there are more variables as to why the answer is yes. However, I thought I'd try to combine a lot of answers, especially the same answers, into this essay, as a lot of people had similar thoughts. If you don't meet the business requirements as an artist, then just give them a refund. Trust me. Now, on to the reasons why it's actually no. So, let's get ready. Surprisingly, a lot of people had a lot to say on why they think that artists should not offer a refund to their clients. So, let's get started. Point number one is time. The majority of responses I've gotten from artists alike was that time wasn't free. If you waste my time, you waste your money. But it won't be unfair for the artists to give back the money when they can't have their own time back. Some artists would recommend forming contracts so it's clear and prevent further problems. Some artists would just give it to the client as it is because what you get is what you get. Again, not all artists work the same. We each have our own standards. It is best that a policy is formed before you start selling or doing commissions of your art. This enables you to establish what you won't do and what you won't do, especially if you have a refund policy. In my opinion though. Number two is a personal commission, which of course if it can't be resold. If a commission is made personally for the client and it can't be resold, then I don't see the point in giving a refund 
However, it should be noted that you as an owner should decide if the client should get a refund. Keep watching this video on how you can resolve problems with your client. I'm going to give my thoughts on the no real quick. In areas like these, most if not all of them, I see where they're coming from, but I do believe it is important clients put themselves in, an, in the order's shoes for the clients. Art isn't easy to make if you're not skilled in that area, of course. That's why they came. However, artists spend money to get the equipment they need to produce the art that the client desires. Although, when a client says no to their own artists, not only do they waste the artist's time, but their money, especially when they've used up the material, it can really hurt the artist. Both sides should do their part in communicating. The artist should be aware on what they can produce and the client must be clear on the objectives they want. As long as both sides agree and play their part, I don't think there will be a problem. Now, what do you do if you run into problems with the client? Well, one of them is revisions. Some things that artists do are revisions. Now, again, some are revisions are paid and some are free. Artists usually do free revisions on the rough portion of the art to their client's liking when communicating. This helps spot mistakes in the early process of the drawing before actually finishing it, but this all depends on the medium that you use and how you approach the art. Now another point is, be honest and refer them to another artist. If doing art in a certain style isn't your specialty, refer them to someone you know who can. It can help them out and hey, we're artists, we're in this together. Now another thing you can do is refund them part of the portion, which can potentially ensure them that you are trustworthy and they may come back to you again for something else. But please remember that this is a judgment call you would have to make by yourself. Now, here are my closing thoughts on this. In conclusion, being an artist is hard and comes at the cost, especially money. Some people live off of their craft. It's how they provide food on the table. Not every artist is wealthy, which is why it is important to recognize that artists, like clients, are human too. The life of a starving artist is real, and taking advantage of an artist, especially when they're starving, could really hurt them. It is important that we as an artist be honest with ourselves before we are honest to clients. Make sure you communicate with them on what you can and can't do. In some cases, for both sides, it's best to prevent the problem rather than start one because, let's admit it, chargebacks are crap, especially from PayPal. Dang it! <laughs> so yeah, anyways guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video I said that I had to make, you know, or that I at least wanted to make. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on topics that I wasn't able to cover or points that you disagreed on and we can just talk about them in the comment section below and I may do a follow-up video. Anyways guys, thank you guys so so much for watching this video. Love you guys and until next time, I'll see you later. Positive vibes!